All right, we are live. Awesome. Hey guys, um, this is the first live show of the new year, and it's been a while since we've actually done a live show. So we're pretty excited to be yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's really like I think with this one we're going to be working out the kinks. So I may be up and down, or um, <laughs> uh, I will probably be up and down. <laughs> so yeah, and um, so oh, and so let me get right into the painting, and then we'll chat and we'll catch you up. And if anybody has any questions about anything, also if you have ideas about the painting, like colors and whatnot, I'd love to hear that. Um, you know the. Feedback is awesome, and and just like Jackie will sometimes um, tell me about colors, like she's like, I don't know if I like that. Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't. So if I don't follow your suggestion, please don't take offense. But I love to hear them, and it's so it's so great to hear all that. Um, but but let me describe the painting really quickly, and then um, and then and then we'll get into what's been going on and what what's coming up in the future because we're gonna be doing a lot more live streams, a lot more different things, a lot more inter interactive sort of things, and. But what this painting is, it's um well hopefully you can tell it's it's a woman playing a guitar. I mean I'm so guitar. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just edit that out. Yeah. Later. <laughs> it's a lady playing a violin, <laughs> the world's smallest guitar on her shoulder. <laughs> um, and what what what's going to happen here is that her hair is going to be going all the way across the canvas. Bright colors, just crazy, crazy colors, and just lots of energy. This sort of energy and the emotion that you feel from the music. So we're going to have that. Now, the colors that I'm going to use for the painting, I'm not really sure. It really comes from painting live and being here right now at this moment. Um, I know that I want to make her dress red, I think. I don't know. I just want to, at least the skirt part, like coming down here, because I don't know, it just seems fiery, and I want it to be a very active kind of painting. So um, so the red may dictate some some of the other colors, but... I don't really know. I've never done this painting, you know. Obviously, it's, you know, but but I will say this: um, the, the 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 picture of this painting, um, we're we're gonna post this and, and we're gonna put it on um, Patreon. Yeah. So I'll have this on Patreon, and I'll have the paint list and everything. And we use we, we use that site really because um, a lot of blog stuff, a lot of stuff that you know you don't want to share maybe on social media. Um, social media you can share a lot but on, on, on the patreon it's really um, it's just everything like all the behind, behind the scenes what stuff we're doing going to shows this or that and and things that are coming up that I can't t talk about necessarily or, or other things so we put all that over there um, oh and that's eagle playing with chip so you know there's that um, they're they're great friends and they'll get a bone and eagle will, will be like that's my bone and, and, uh, yeah so they're funny um, yeah, if they keep playing, you might have to ask them to be quiet. They're they're funny. They'll they'll do that for like five minutes and then. I really think it's it's a Chip annoying Eagle, but. Um, it might be. <laughs> but you know we let it go on for a while, a while and then finally. It's well, e Eagle likes it. Like she she she'll go over there and she'll she'll want to play and she'll want to do yeah. it. She, she really will. It's a it's that's a, true. Um, it's the only time Eagle e Eagle's my seeing eye oh. dog, and seeing seeing eye dogs are extremely quiet. They don't really talk much and. Um, um, Eagle is no different. And the only time she ever makes sound is when she's playing with Chip. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah. She is funny though. It, I I think it's it's made her a little bit more uh, vocal in general. She, she'll and a little bit. She she's gotten a little bit more boisterous with the jumping up and down and stuff, which is I think cute. But yeah, it's yeah. probably a little against the rules. Yeah, could, could you ask them to be quiet, <laughs> yeah, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um. The place that they're they're playing in is is, is Jackie's office, her studio is right through there. Okay, yeah. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start putting some red down on the on her her dress. And I did the sketch earlier before before this live stream, and um, I did it with paint that I can feel. So the paint feels a little bit different than the um, the canvas that it was painted on. So. For me, since I'm visually impaired, I use my sense of touch, and in the way that this black paint is on there, it has this very kind of thick, glossy sort of feeling that dries extremely fast, but it feels different than the ultra smooth canvas that I have it on. So, so it's really easy for me to fill the lines. And right now, what I'm doing is is I'm putting down an underpainting. So if you're painting, um, you know, you know, a lot of times, I mean, like you watch like Bob Ross and stuff like that, and I, th and I think you get the idea that. Um, everything has to be like a one-stroke painting, you know, like a wet-on-wet -wet sort of technique where 
um, you have to be able to do something in 30 minutes and and your first smart, your first stroke is like your last stroke too that's not really the way most painting goes and um, classical painters from way back when would paint just just like this you know where you um, where you'll block out a painting you'll put some color down and then and then you'll put more color over it so the red that I'm putting down right now isn't necessarily the all the color that's going to be there there's going to be um, some blue, some ye oranges, some yellows and stuff that are mixed in. And actually, see, I've got this, got this really great cat cadmium yellow th that I'm going to put down next. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah. So do you, I don't know if you mentioned this, do you have a song in mind that you're thinking about while, while because I know music inspires? Gosh, you know, that's a good question. <coughs> and um, um, I, I don't really, I've been listening to a lot of music and a lot of fiery sort of music and really energetic sort of things. And... So I'm almost wondering if anybody had like an idea for a song, you know, that I could put in there. Because I, I know I wanted her dress to be red, but hmm. the rest of it, so I don't know. I'll um, let you know if anybody chimes in with a song idea. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Or what, what that makes them think of. I don't know. You know, I constantly listen to music when I paint, so if I didn't use it for this painting, I might use it for another, you know? So you never know. You never when know. you first drew that, I, I almost imagined she was like laying on the ground. I don't know. I guess the way her hair is kind of lay, lay, like fanned out. Oh, yeah? I yeah. was imagining she was laying on the ground. Oh, she's whipping it around. <laughs> she's <laughs> head banging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and with a music painting like this, it's almost, um, it's, al it's almost, I don't know, it'd, it'd almost be a shame to, to mention, like, one, one type of music because, you know, like to say, oh, this is a jazz violinist or something because then everybody that looks at it will think jazz violin where someone else might be really into the country fiddle or or, <laughs> or, or, or classical sort of thing, you know? And Yeah. I, I don't know, like, I don't know, I, I feel like like with with art, with painting, um, it's about the artist putting down the paint, but just as important, though, are the people that look at the painting, you know, because you're bringing all of your experiences and your ideas to it, and you're, you're deciding what, you know, what, what you... What it means to you and the ideas that it gives you. So right now I'm putting down orange. So I've got some bright orange, some of that really bright cadmium yellow that's sort of a golden hue, and I love that hue. Um, the other yellow I use quite a bit is a lemon yellow, but um, but I wanted to keep her skirt kind of dark and a little bit. In the background, I was thinking about making dark. So yeah, but, I almost imagine like a like a really dark background behind her and yeah. fading out. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like she would pop off the. That 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 would be cool. So she's gonna have the grace and style of a young Elizabeth Taylor, <laughs> with the mystery and the decadence of an old Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm going for with this painting. So how long did uh, the drawing take you to do? Gosh, I you, don't even know. I think you did it pretty quick because, I mean, one minute you were you didn't have it, and then the next minute you came in and you said, "Oh, I finished." Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's funny because there, there, there's some drawings that will go really fast and other ones where I'll do the drawing and it's like, oh, and then i got to go back in and do it again and do it again. And kind of like a, um, I just worked on a Buddy Holly painting that's a really large painting. It's it's out, it's out, it's over there on the other side of the studio. And um, um, I had to redraw his hand and all because I just, yeah. I, I was giving it like, a, I wanted to give it like a very impressionistic sort of feel. And, um, but you know, yeah, I, and the Buddy Holly painting is like massive. It's what five by four, and yeah, it is like, yeah. All, all Buddy Holly. Well, yeah, yeah, crickets, I think it's like 20, 20 square feet, and it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, it was a fun painting to do. It was a music painting, of course, but um, I have Buddy Holly, and he's playing the lead guitar. But it's it's the period in the in the, um, in his life when all all of the crickets were there. So it was a four member band. And after about a year, and they wrote like 28 of their hits or something. I was surprised when you told me that, what was it, Waylon Jennings was his uh, drummer or something? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah well, he, had, he had this other drummer, and I can't think of his name right now. And then I think Waylon Jennings was like sitting in or doing something. Or he was, he was I don't know, they, they became friends, and, and he played with them. And then on the plane trip that Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and the Big Bopper and um, the other guy, I can't think of his name right now, uh, the pilot, I guess, um, um, died. Um, Waylon Jennings was supposed to be on the plane, but um, the Big Bopper, I think, had a cold. 
and and everybody else was going to drive by car, and it was a cold night, and and um, and he asked if he could take his seat in the plane, and Waylon, being such a nice guy, was like, yeah, sure. And uh, man, saved, that was a bad decision. Life. I mean, yeah. that was a good decision for Waylon Jennings, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sucks. Yeah, man. So. Well, we have some people that have joined with us. That's awesome. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Yeah, Eric Grizzle. Um, oh, Eric, hey, uh, man. <laughs> hey, um, holy moly. Um, and uh, Ron Captain says hi. Oh, hey, Ron. Um, um, it's good. Gain, Jessica, and Dylan. No well, more. guys, thanks. All have joined and are watching you paint. Well, thanks so much for joining, guys. Man. We had dinner with the captains, not... not not too long ago. That was a fun... Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun Texas dinner. Texas Roadhouse. You can't, can't beat it. Heck no. That was good. And Ron, he's, he's a he's a Patreon subscriber, which is... Yeah, much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. That. And not afraid to drive... Him and his wife, not afraid to drive giant RVs across the nation, yeah. <laughs> which I am, I am uh, impressed with. So. <laughs> Pretty cool. That is cool. And, and and Eric, have 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 you written anything lately? I bet you have. And Eric is awesome. So I'm just getting this paint down, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm making it a little thick. It's a skirt, so I want it to flow a little, and I'm putting a little. Gosh, what is this blue? I don't know. You know, it's funny. I'm really lazy when it comes to braille, so I don't really braille the full labels. Thalo? That, that, it, it? It, it might be the thalo blue. It might be. Yeah. And um, um, it might be. I don't know. Like on, on my braille, like I mean, on another braille on the on the paint tube, I use the braille. I just have like dark blue, and then I have like a C for um for my cerulean and um. Then I forget I forget what the actual name is, but you know I know like oh yeah that's that's the that's the tube I've been looking for. <laughs> Man, we had a fun night last night. We um Star Trek Discovery aired. Oh man, man, was, man, was it good? Jackie is a bit of a fan. <laughs> slight, <laughs> slight fan. Oh hey, hey Brian's here, everybody. Here, let me oh, cool. flip on over. Come join us. It's super informal. We're doing a bunch of nothing. Hey man, We're watching John paint. Hey, we well, might have to get a. Oh, there's the couch too. Yeah. But I was gonna say, how you doing, man? Yeah. You can sit right there. Well, you may be on camera. I can't make any guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> well. So I saw this thing come across my Facebook feed today of, um, it was from Artsy. I don't know if people follow, follow, I know some people follow Artsy on Facebook, but they had an article that came across today that was, that stated that you would be a better artist, people in general would be a better artist if they did more blind contour drawing. And I thought of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good thought. Like getting your own, um, out of, out, out of your comfort zone because because brian's here i'm gonna bring out the hot pink oh yeah you know, kind of <laughs> inspiring the colors <laughs> let's see Actually, i've got a full tube around here somewhere there oh, that'll be enough there so let's yeah see. that's that's a good idea though about the contour drawing it's um th that's a lot of th that's something that a lot of people do in art school and then um and then never do again um you know, and and the way that you do it, you um, you know, if you're sighted, of course, like you you, you look at the at the the figure, and you don't look at your paper or, or or canvas or whatever it is that you're you're working on, and just start drawing, without without checking what your hands doing. Now, what what I'm doing um is a little different because I do check. I check I check with my hands, so I use one hand to to feel with. You know, and see where I am, what I'm doing, and I've done this for so long that I, I can check with little, um, little, little, little touches here and there just to make sure that I'm where I think I am and all that. Um, so I've, I've gotten practiced at it. But if you're blind contour drawing, I would be cheating because you're not allowed to check. You know, you're supposed to. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's true. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to look at the paper. Well, no, no, no. So well, I would have to like, oh, take, take a hand and I have to tie a hand behind true. my back. And I just, guess that's true. You are in you know, looking at at it when you feel it but 
Yeah. I don't know. I think... Um, you think it'd be okay? I think it would be okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get skirt by. I mean, we, you know, as a sighted person, we would be feeling all up on that thing to try to orient ourselves, so I don't know. Oh, there you go. But... Yeah, but, yeah, but you guys don't have the skills. So Kristen Cram joined us. She said she has so many of your prints and tells everybody about you. Oh, That's thank really you. really sweet. Well, and nice Jean, Jean Smith is from Brisbane, Australia, and is love loving watching you paint. Oh, man. And John Ospo joined us and read. And then <laughs> Kristen said, and you love Star Trek Discovery. I assume that's a dig. Yes, I do. I love it. In fact, I think it's fantastic. I, I, well, I'm not going to do any spoilers because some people out there might not have watched the episode last night. But it's better than last season and yeah, I, know, yeah. I know people had issues with last season i could just this is my soapbox i know people <laughs> had issues with the last season i understand i get it i get it but you can tell this direction is is gonna be good it's gonna be good so yeah and and it, it's nice that they've re revamped it because they um there, uh, there, yeah. there were some things that people just did not like about it and, and they listened to that and they let some of the writers go and they um and they just completely Changed it. So, so what's cool about this time is that it's like the years between, um, right before Ca Captain Kirk came in. So it's Captain Pike. Pike, and, yeah. And, and Captain Pike, the guy that's playing him, is really. I mean, it just seems like he's doing a really interesting job and a really good job. And she said it wasn't a dig. So <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> she loves it too. You're just used to so much hate, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> because because the last season, everybody's like. Well, you I, I, I'll be honest. Like, I was on some of the forums. I was like, "What?" I was one of those people that I was like, "That's not true." I, I, I nice. love science fiction and I, and I, I love Star <laughs> Trek and all that. And I, I just like that. You know, anything that has robots or science fiction and dinosaurs. I'm, I'm, yeah, dinosaurs. I'm, I'm, then it's cool. You know, I just like the ideas and stuff. But there were some things about last season that I, I didn't like. You know, but there was other things that I really liked. So I just watched it for the things that I liked and. You know, it's like anything. It's like um, the Transformers movies, which oh. yeah, those there's bad. parts of those I just have to skip. You know, it's just yeah. And then and then there's other parts where you know you're it's, just watching it for the pure mindless entertainment. Yeah, like, I just want your Optimus come on That's and go like, oh, I'm Optimus Prime. Like, yeah. Oh yes, I'm good for a while. Yeah. So, anyway. so my mom joined us. She says hi and she says hello, Brian. Oh, hi. Crash and burn. Crash, <laughs> Crash and burn. <laughs> Crash and burn. <laughs> Space gorillas are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But yeah, so last night was fun. We, to celebrate 1701 Day, we... 1701 Day. <laughs> we made um, gach, and, which actually was just udon noodles with um, broccoli and beef. Um, it really was just like a like beef broccoli dish with giant noodles. It's made to look like worms, but... Uh, it was gawk with roasted targ and little space trees in it. That's space trees, it yes. Yeah, space trees. I love it. But so I'm wondering with her shirt here. I just drew like a, like a shirt and, and an arm. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if I should give her sleeves or if it should. Yeah, she should have some sleeves. I don't know about sleeves. I, I mean, need more definition to the shirt. Yeah, but I mean, like, see the hood. If I don't do sleeves, then it's just going to be like, you know, her arms coming out. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You take it to the crowd. Yeah. Sleeves or no sleeves? Gosh. <laughs> uh. I don't know. You could emphasize her, uh, like, I don't know, the action oh. in her arm or something. Well, and the muscles. Yeah, there we go. And right, right now, what what I'm doing is um, I'm putting in a little pink underneath, and I'm using, um, I'm using it as like for a little shading. And like I say, I'm just blocking in the painting right now. So, so really on this. How long, how long, um, what well, you know what time it is? Uh, 8.21. 8.21, okay. So for this part, I'm just blocking in her. And um, so I'm going to try to get her completely blocked in. And then on the next step, um, I'll, I'll work on the background, and I'll get that blocked in. So um, we'll see how far I get with this. So, but I'm using the pink, so um, almost like Monet. Mo Monet never used black. Well, he, whenever he um, had his style down, he never used black. And... and said he would use other colors like violets and blues and other kinds of purples and things like that and um so <clears throat> i think that's pretty interesting so i'm um taking a step out of his book although as you can see there's a lot of black <laughs> on here there's, so, ton, there's, yeah, so, there's a ton of black on yeah. here maybe. well you know no, well you you always get the, you gotta get the drawing down so you can kind of 
follow well, it. If Monet wants to come back and criticize me, that's okay. <laughs> I'll listen. <laughs> but so hopefully Mon Monet isn't rolling around in his grave right now. He's using black. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> So are you going to do any more, because um, I know you've been working on some secretive stuff with the UV paints that can't be talked about, whatever, <laughs> but um, is there anything else that you're going to be doing with the UV paints? You know, um, we're, we're about to start a mural, um, and it's an, oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's an outdoor mural, and... Um, oh, so, oh, I'm getting sleeves. People are saying sleeves. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm working on her face. I thought, wow, I did a horrible drawing. <laughs> this is her face I'm working on. I'm not saying her arm at all. Yeah, me worried there for a second. I thought, oh, gosh, I thought I was feeling her nose. <laughs> I was like feeling her up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, Consensus um, is sleeves. Sleeves. Okay, okay. So far. Put clothes on the lady. I hear it. More clothes. More sleeves. More sleeves. Um, anyway, mural. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be working on a mural, and that's going to be starting really soon, like in a couple weeks, three weeks, something like that. And th that might have UV paint on it, and we need to talk to the building owner. The problem with UV paint is that um, it's UV reactive, and, of course, as you probably know, the sun has a lot of UV in it. <laughs> so it, it tends to, to degrade that sort of paint. And I've been looking for a, an outdoor paint that um, is UV reactive, I wonder if there's like a sealant or, you know how like with inks, the UV affects the reds fast and red just disappears. I wonder if like if you use more of the blue UV or something will last longer. Um, yeah, there it will, but you know, you're right. That's a really good thought and, and there is, but it doesn't last as long as like the paint that we normally use. Like for the last mural we did that was four stories tall, um, it was, um, the paint should last 20 to 30 years yeah. without any kind of problem. And the UV paint will last a few months without a sealant. So I'm, I'm thinking that even with a sealant, it's not going to last that long. Well, I think, I mean, I don't know how, I imagine what we're going to have to do with this mural because we haven't even, <laughs> the mural for everybody out there has been a little bit of a logistic, logistical uh, puzzle to figure out. But um, uh, I think it's going to be a situation where we have to lay down a layer of regular paint and then the UV over it. I don't yeah. know. I don't. I don't, well, even, I don't think that UV is, like, thick enough to cover it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not opaque enough. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, this is what we have to figure out before <laughs> we uh, climb that wall. Yeah, <coughs> yeah it's, a good, it's a good question. And, um, um, but um, I, don't, I don't know. You know, with that, I'm, I'm just not sure. It's, it's up, you know, it's whatever the building owner, if he's willing to have it degraded like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's starting to sound like because I'm just, I was really hopeful for it, and and there might be something out there. They, they, I mean, there's UV paints that are meant for the exterior. It's just they're not like 20 year paints, and right, you know, and oh. how big of a building is? Uh, uh, um, it's about four. It's four stories tall, and it's um, I don't know how wide it is. Really wide. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably it's almost square shaped. It's probably like. As tall, Four as wide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's as wide as it is tall. It's almost kind of a square. It's actually that right there. Is it that? Yeah. Okay. That's and that's the mock-up of the painting. So where is it? It's oh, it's on that. Oh, oh, it's there. on the rotating easel thing. Oh, cool. So yeah. I knew I knew it was in here, but I couldn't think. I'm looking for it. Is it? But yeah, so in this painting, to give everybody an idea out there, this painting with her hair all wild is almost kind of like the idea that's what of what's going to be on the mural. It's a the idea right now is is a woman um, sitting on the balcony playing a guitar, and her hair is kind of whipping all around her, and it turns into the colors that are all over the wall. So, and then strategic parts, I assume, are going to be UV if if that goes forward. There's, so yeah, yeah, it's going to be cool. But even if it's not UV, it's going to be. I'll, I'll just make the colors really bright. Because what I'm wondering is that if we use like some some really heavy fluorescent colors for parts of it, not the entire thing, but parts of it. With the right lighting at night, you can you can make it you can give it almost almost like a glow, like a UV glow. Yeah. So, and 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 that should last 20, 30 years, you know, if I did it like that. So. Yeah, Ron Captain said the sealant may not let the UV react, so we need to test that. Oh yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good thought. And then um, oh, and uh, the mural is Kristen asked what, where the mural is, and it is in um, it will be in Dallas. The one we did previously is in the Bishop Arts District in Dallas. 
and this one is actually just like two blocks down in the in the same little area it's the same it's on the side of like these two new apartment buildings that have been built down there so it's a real super trendy cool area um they've got like world famous pie so it's dangerous as well but real fun lots of cute shops yeah yeah it is a fun it, that is that is a fun spot that's really cool so bah. so i was gonna color in the her her violin just just put the some base color in just just block it in so right now i've just used um I, I've used. A <laughs> you can't paint and talk at the same time. I know, I know. Okay. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> so everything's looking kind of, kind of similar because I'm using a lot of the same tones. But I've used um, um, a transparent burnt sienna, a cadmium yellow um, with a medium hue. I'm a little bit of a lemon yellow, and a cadmium red. Oh, and then um, probably a thalo blue. <laughs> 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 I'll look it up and I'll I'll put it in all the paints that I use. All all that's gonna put, be put on on the Patreon site. And um, I want to say that that was the last giant couple of blue tubes I I bought you was was that color. Was it okay? Yeah. So yeah. it must be hard going to the paint store for me. How dark do you want the blue? What is dark as my soul? I want to, I want to, I want a blue like a September storm. You do that a lot with yellow. That drives me crazy. You'll be, I'll be like, what yellow? And you're like, not a, not a, not a, not a lemon yellow, not a gold yellow. Right in between. I'm like, that's there is no in between. That's it. That's it. Think of like a happy raisin uh. before it turned, uh, before it started. To happy grape. Yes, it's usually my trips to the art store usually consist of like three phone calls back home. It's hard for me to buy paint online. I buy a lot of paint and stuff online, but it's, you know, they don't list their colors like that. <laughs> yeah, and you never know. Like, sometimes the paint is old. The, the paint that comes from online, it's especially blue. You never know. Like, for some reason, that, that just dries up quickly in shipment or something. All right, well, um, I, th I, think, I think I'm done for this part right here. And All then, right. Um, so in the next part, um, I, I'm, I'm going to work on the blocking for the background. Cool. All right, well, so we're going to switch over to the next segment. Cool.